Hey guys, it's Cree, and today I'm going to be showing you five DIYs that I created. Um, all the jewelry I'm wearing today and the accessory, the, including the tiara that I'm wearing, all of them were handmade by myself. This is all inspired by the Queen of Spiders theme that I started last year. So I'm going to be showing you how I made all four of these things, the tiara, the choker, the ring, and the wristlet. And also I'm going to be showing you how to make this mask. Now, I wanted to wear it with everything, but I feel like it clashes a lot with the tiara. I feel like it's a bit too much, so I will be wearing them both on separate occasions. But if you would like to see how I made all five of these really cool little DIYs for Halloween, please stay tuned. Thank you guys for watching. Okay, so first I'm going to be showing you how I made the crown. Now, I went ahead and made this design myself. It's about three inches tall, seven and a half inches wide. I just went ahead and drew a spider web and just cut it in half, basically. So I'm putting that photo frame from an old picture frame I got from the Dollar Tree. Um, this, is, this isn't completely necessary, but I just feel like it holds the design and the plastic wrap that I'm putting down just much better compared to just tape but it's completely optional. I'm gonna go ahead and put some tape down anyway just in case if my hand moves the plastic on the sides of the design but you can do whatever you'd like. Really the only ones that are essential are the stencil and the plastic wrap. Next I'm going to take my handy hot glue gun and I am going to load that up with some hot glue sticks and we are going to trace the black parts of the design on this little spider web. Now, don't be too worried about how the lines might get crooked. Just go ahead and um, just be calm and finish the design. And then you can easily be fixed later if you need to do any touch-ups on the lines. Once the hot glue dries, I'm going to start peeling the design off of the plastic wrap. You can take scissors and trim off any little pieces of plastic that stay onto the design. And this is a good time to trim away any flaws or little excess hot glue before we move on to the next step. Now taking some black paint, I am going to gently put a few coats of paint onto the little design we have here. And once that dries out, we are going to move on to the next part, which is putting it onto the headband. Now, I'm going to find the center of the headband, mark it, and then we're going to join the center of the headband to the center of the design. I recommend holding the design onto the headband as you hot glue it there, just for like about 10-15 seconds, because otherwise it's just going to pop right off. So just go ahead and hold it there. Now I am going to hot glue the rest of the design onto the headband. Holding it on each side for 15 seconds as I hot glue it so it won't pop out like before. And once that is done, we are done with the headband. Now I'm going to show you how I made the spidery detail for my crown. This is going to be used for all of the jewelry I show you guys today. Same process as before, I'm just going to trace this little spider design with some hot glue. You can find the stencil online, or you could just make one yourself. I just kind of made one myself, but yeah. And once the hot glue is dry, you can go ahead and trim that little spider out. I'm going to go ahead and show you some free-handed spiders that I made so that you know you can make some free-handed ones. You don't need a stencil, but I mean, it, it does look better if it has a stencil or something to guide you through the process. I recommend making six of these if you plan on making all the DIYs that I show you today, just to have them in advance. But yeah, and once they're done drying, you can go ahead and start painting them. And once that paint dries up, we're going to go ahead and cut the spiders out of the plastic wrap. I tried using my hands to pull the plastic off of the little spider, but it was taking even longer than with scissors, so I just recommend 
using the scissors. Once the little spider is completely out of its plastic wrap, we're going to go ahead and just put some hot glue onto the stomach of it and hot glue that onto the headband that we just made earlier. And that is how I made my spider tiara. Now I'm going to go ahead and go back to the little spiders that I free-handed making earlier. We're going to cut those out and we're going to turn these into some really cool rings. Now it would have looked better if I just followed the stencil, but it's okay. I don't mind, they still look pretty neat. Now taking some floral wire, I'm going to go ahead and measure out my finger that I want to use for the ring. And I'm going to go ahead and color in that little piece of wire that I cut out and taking another same measurement of that wire I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out and use some Sharpie to color that in too. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of hot glue on the spider's belly and I'm gonna place the very center of that floral wire onto the belly and put another coat of hot glue onto that belly just so it adds extra support and we're going to do the same thing to the other little spider and once those two are both done drying up we are basically done now I'm going to go ahead and put that onto my finger to show you guys how that looks and they look pretty good on so I'm going to go ahead and take these a little step further and taking my left hand I'm taking the measurement between the distance of my ring to the distance of my wrist and then I'm going to take the circumference of my wrist and I'm going to transfer that onto a piece of paper and then I'm going to basically connect the lines and I'm going to do a little bit of a spider web design as if spider webs are coming out of the spider. Now I want to extend the design by 3 inches, so that means 3 inches into my arm I'm going to have to take the circumference of that and then I'm going to transfer that onto paper again and connect the dots basically. And now continuing the little spider webby design, I am finished. Uh, hopefully that made sense to you guys, it's just about measurements. But now we're going to go ahead and repeat the process of hot glue and we're going to go ahead and trace that design. Now instead of just peeling the design off, I'm going to go ahead and just start painting over the design with some paint. And now I'm going to go ahead and peel the design off of the plastic wrap. You could do it whichever way you'd like. I don't know, I just, I got lazy doing it the other way, so I waited. Now I'm using some scissors to take off the excess plastic and get rid of any flaws that are on my design. And once that is finished, we can go ahead and glue the little spider ring onto the top of that design. Taking some hot glue, I'm going to just go ahead and put a little bit of glue onto the butt of the spider. Hold that onto the design for about 15 seconds. We're done. I'm going to go ahead and take some of this floral wire and use that to enclose the wristlet onto my wrist. You can use a professional jewelry stuff, but honestly, I'm not going to be using this jewelry too often. I don't see myself using it too often. So, I'm going to go ahead and just enclose it with this. But you can use whatever you'd like. This is much less expensive than the professional stuff, so yeah. Once you have the wristlet secured on, basically you are done. 
I really, really like this wristlet. I actually might use it more often than I think. I really love the little spider designs. So, I don't know. We'll see. I might end up having to go back to the store and getting some professional wire. But, I mean, it's a DIY project. So, it will just ensure that I made it myself. <laughs> Okay guys, so now I'm going to show you how I made the spider dangling choker from earlier. I'm going to go ahead and take these two little spiders that I freehanded and this large spider that I freehanded. <laughs> That's why they look kind of weird because they weren't following a stencil. And then taking some of these little old pieces of chain that I took apart from an old necklace I never use anymore. And this little lace choker. I never use this one either. I got this one for like a couple of bucks at the local mall that I go to. It, it came in like a three pack, so um, it wasn't that expensive for me, but you know, you can always easily make these chokers with a little bit of lace and some chain if you don't have any available to you. I'm going to just go ahead and use this one. I'm going to also use a hot glue gun and a pair of scissors. You'll see why. So I'm going to go ahead and find the center of the little choker here and I'm going to mark it and I'm going to go ahead and hook the longest chain to that center. I unhinged a little piece of chain in here. I don't know if you can see that. So that way it would be able to clip onto the little hole there. Once you have that little piece of chain hinged onto the design, design, I keep saying design, once you have that little piece of chain hinged onto the lace, you can go ahead and close that up. I'm using scissors because I had no pliers, but please use pliers. And once that is securely on there, we're going to move on to the next little pieces of chain repeat the same process but we're gonna do those about two inches away from the first ch piece of chain Once you have all three chains securely hooked onto the choker, we are going to go ahead and take that choker and lay it down flat. And now we're going to move on to gluing the spiders onto the chain. Now taking the hot glue gun, make sure it's all nice and hot and ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and take the largest spider and I'm going to put that one at the center. You could do whatever way you'd like, but I don't know, I just like having the biggest one there at the center. Putting a little bit of hot glue on the spider's butt. Carefully placing the chain on top of that. Be very careful, you don't want to get burned. And I'm going to use the bottom of my scissors to tap that hot glue more securely onto the chain. Also make sure your chain is straight when you're putting the hot glue down on there because mine happened to be crooked and I forgot about that. So yeah, don't make my mistake. <laughs> but then again, hot glue gun, hot glue is really easy to fix so it's not too big of a deal. Letting that dry now, I'm going to go ahead and put a second layer of hot glue on top of that just to secure it even more.
Now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do the same steps to the other two little spiders. And now we're done. I would have to say this is my favorite design of all the jewelry that I've made today. Now let's make a masquerade mask. Using this stencil I drew myself, we're going to cover that with plastic wrap. We're going to trace over it with some hot glue just like before. And once the design actually cools off, we are going to go ahead and start peeling it off exactly like before. I don't recommend painting it before you peel it off because there's a lot of detail to this. But you could use whatever way you'd like. It's more complicated the other way though. This is also a good opportunity to take those scissors and trim away any excess plastic. This was the hardest design to get rid of all the excess plastic of because all the little details that went into it. But we did it and now we're just going to do some finishing touches with hot glue just because there were some weak parts to the design. And once that entirely cools off, we're going to take some paint and just start painting over. I recommend doing about well, at least two coats because there's so many tiny details you don't want to miss a spot. But you can use as much paint as you would like. Once the mask is done drying, we're going to go ahead and just do some finishing touches with whatever you think there's some flaws at and then I'm gonna go ahead and flip the mask over to the other side and we're gonna go ahead and cut out two feet of ribbon for each side of the ribbon and we're gonna hot glue that onto the mask now I don't like the way that hot glue looks so I'm gonna go ahead and put some sharpie over that you can use some paint if you want but I got lazy towards the end so And we are done! So here is the completed mask. I think this is such a great idea for those of you who might be planning on going to a masquerade party or, you know, any other kind of Halloween party. But I hope you guys liked these DIYs I've shown you. All of them were inspired by this necklace right here. I will leave the link to the video on how I made this necklace down in the description bar below. But I hope you guys liked this video today. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.